What's up everybody? It's your boy, Crab Patrol. Back at it again with another video. As you can see, we're on Karen, the R3. The guys are not familiar with who Karen is and are new to the channel. She is my 2016 Yamaha R3. Maxing out at 42 horsepower and 21 and change. It's a 320cc engine, so it's not not fast by any means, but it makes you feel quick. It, it's a quick bike, not a fast bike. It is, it is a blast to ride, super lightweight, super easy, super doable. It is, it is a great first bike. That's my starter bike. So to answer the common question guys, I highly recommend the R3 as a starter bike. A lot of people ask online, you know, what should I get for my first bike? Um, a lot of, the craze seems to be Honda Grom's right now. Um, I do own one myself and I absolutely love it. But the Honda Grom is not a good starter bike. It is a good second bike, it's a good, you know, pull around on bike. But it's not a good primary bike for multiple reasons. Um, I've listed a few in my previous videos. But the R3 pretty much does it all for you. You can maintain highway speeds. Um, in Mexico, I've maxed it out at 114 uh, miles per hour. So it's, it's very capable of doing highway speeds and doing them well. It doesn't struggle at highway speeds. Um, of course, around town is easy on it as well. And it's just overall just a great bike. Not to mention, I'm pretty sure the average miles per gallon is like 54. So uh, that's pretty awesome as well. Like five bucks will fill the tank usually. So that's always a plus. And it's super easy to shift. Neutral is pretty easy to find. The balance is uh, is pretty good as well. And it's a pretty short bike, so uh, I'm flat footing. I'm I'm pretty short. I'm five eight, um, and I flat foot the bike no problem. So yeah, I have no major complaints at this point. Like I said, we're just passing the 3,000 mile mark. So I do have to do an oil change. 
Um, I'm not sure that I'll make a video on that. Maybe if there's a lot of interest, I will, but probably not. That's good. Starting to ride off with a wave. I've seen a couple bikes out today. I don't have any real destination, just kind of tooling around. My fiance is at work, and I don't have anything better to do, and it's nice out. It's like, uh, it's like probably 65 degrees in uh, October, so I'll take it. I'm really hoping that the, uh, the mic is working. Otherwise, I'm back to square one again. Oh, and there are blue lights up ahead. That's not good. Oh, multiple blue lights. And what looks like tow truck. So I'd say somebody got an accident. Maybe this is not a good time to be out in West Lebb. Just see what happens. On today's episode of Sitting in Traffic, we have an accident up ahead. And um, I was kind of spotted. I don't know who is beeping. I don't know why that. I don't know why that lady is beeping. Road bomb because that lady almost just caused another accident. No signal, no nothing. Just being an idiot. I can tell this is a clusterfuck. What the fuck are these people doing? Just standing in the way or what? Well guys, Home Depot didn't have what I was looking for. Now we're off to Tractor Supply. Because it seems like they have just about everything that Home Depot doesn't. One thing that you'll get quite a bit, at least I've gotten, is uh, the R3 has a single high beam and a single low beam and when the high beams are on they're both on but when it's just low beam everybody says hey you've got a headlight out 
And at this point, I just say, yeah, I know I do. Because I've explained it like a million times. All right, guys, picked up some hood pins for the Enduro. Now to just hope I don't get in an accident on the way home because they're in my pocket and that would hurt. All right, guys, we got some dinner. It's time to call it a night, time to go home. Actually, while I was getting dinner, I met in, I uh, ran into an old uh, teacher of mine, Tom Osler. He um, teaches natural resources, he taught me natural resources. And that class was literally the reason I stayed in school my last two years. I, um, needless to say, Tom had a big impact on me. Uh, for the better, a positive impact. His, uh, his class was just the most interesting I've ever taken. It was very engaging. I absolutely loved it. Alright, my dudes. If you made it this far in the video, you know what time it is. As always, please feel free to like the video, subscribe for more awesome content, and share it with a friend. Until next time, guys. Ride safe. Peace out.